Could I get a grande iced chestnut praline latte with four extra shots of espresso? Or, just kidding, just kidding. Two extra shots of espresso. All right, so <laughs> chestnut praline latte, quad. Yep. You want the whip now with that? Uh, no whip, but add soy, please. All righty, we got that. Will that be it? That'll be it. 1166, we'll see you at the window. Thank you. Hello guys, good morning. Happy Vlogmas Day 23. Vlogmas Day 23, this is like the last... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm either gonna do, cause I'm a few days ahead of you guys. So I'm either gonna do um, these next few days as like the 24th and the 25th. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Cause I kinda want Vlogmas Day 24 and 25. The grand dish has some praline and the butter croissant? Yes. Yeah. I kind of want Vlogmas Day 24 and 25 to actually be Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, but I know that I'm always with family, so it'll be... Because I know I'm just around family the whole entire days of Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, so it's hard for me to vlog. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. I'll definitely be thinking about that like pretty much all day today. But for today, I have work 10 to 5. I'm going to do some Christmas shopping for my brother today as I don't have anything to do today. Normally, I'd have a spin class. But I'm gonna wait an extra day just because of my bruises. Thank you. And then can I get a straw, please? Yes. Thank you. Thanks. Have a great. Ooh, you sorry. Too. Have a great day. That was awkward. See, I hate having a small car, but also like I could have no car altogether, so I need to shut up. I'm at work now. I'm so early, a little too early. So I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna like just sit and work on some YouTube stuff because I still have some um, links I need to do for Vlogmas Day 22 to go up. I filmed Vlogmas Day 22 just so I could take like the, the extra day if I needed it because I didn't know what the hell was gonna happen with my car at the time and I still don't, so. <laughs> Yeah, so I filmed that as like a backup video. But I'm gonna head on in. Um, I have work in like 56 minutes, so I've got some time to kill. I wish shops opened earlier so that I could do all my errands, because what I have to do is I have to shop for my little brother. Um, when I mean that, I mean like not me shopping for him. Like, I'm shopping for him for other people. Does that make sense? Like, he just gave me his card and was like, go get stuff. I was like, okay, yeah. So that's what's up. And then I have a return to do for my little sister. So I'm going to head on in. I need to keep my phone on me today at work because I might, um, insurance might call me about my car. So I need to have that on me. That's what's up for today, y'all. Happy Vlogmas Day 23. <laughs> Sweating. Hello you guys just got off of work. This jacket is doing her job. I'm like freaking sweating So I had my 10 to 5 shift today. It was a really honestly like crazy shift if you're like Christmas shopping Or anything in the mall, please be nice to the workers like we literally just Work there. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just dealt with a lot of like yeah today went by not fast at all but um, I did Christmas shopping for my brother, so I'm so surprised I even found what like everyone wanted. And I'm very proud of myself for it. But so I went to Nordstrom's and I've been wanting to try out this foundation. I tried it once, but I didn't give it a fair chance and my skin wasn't as good as it is right now. So I got the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and I'm so excited to try it out. 
because like I didn't give it a fair trade last time and all my favorite influencers love it. So I'm so excited to give it another try. The packaging is just gorgeous. And I'm so excited because I've just been using Charlotte Tilbury and I wanted to switch it up a little bit. But I'm so excited to try that out. And then I just did some Christmas shopping for my brother. I might shop at one more store for him just because I feel like he's gonna get mad at like the stuff I got. Like I got what he wanted me to get, but he was, when I called him, I was like, hey, is it okay if I get these two items, even though they're not exactly what they're asking for, but these are probably gonna sell out like today. And he was like, I gave you my card, use it, you know? He's literally such an old man at like 18 years old. But anyway, I'm gonna go stop at a few other stores and um, get what he wants me to get. So, yeah. Okay, good morning, you guys. So, it is the next day. And let me tell you, I literally had the weirdest experience. So, I went to sleep, I guess, at like 7 in my parents bed like I just somehow took a nap on my parents bed I woke up at 4 40 in the morning and I'm like my phone's like on my lap like everything I literally woke up like this like so confused as to like how I got in my parents room and I like realized oh my god no one woke me up from my nap no one tried getting me out of their room I'm like what the hell so I look at my phone and I got like two missed texts from Kyle I'm like oh my god like we always send each other like good morning good night text I'm like I never sent him a good night text like oh my goodness but he knew I must have taken a nap so he literally said hopefully you're not too tired from your long ass nap so I just felt so bad but so I literally woke up at 4 40 in the morning and I've been up ever since because I guess I had a video go live at midnight so I had to fix that up and I've just been like watching vlogmases and all that but such a weird morning so we're carrying on to the next day y'all because obviously i didn't get <laughs> a lot of content but good morning so i'm now up at 6 20 in the morning i feel a lot better today like physically like my hips feel fine i'm obviously still bruised my neck feels great um i'm just in a better space mentally this morning i wanted to show you guys my bruises though. right there is bruised really badly. I think that's the only really, really bad bruise is just right there and then one right there. But those are my really bad bruises that really, really hurt every time anyone touches them. But today I'm feeling a lot better and I think I'm gonna do spin today. So I'm really, really excited. I made sure to make sure that I feel okay, like physically and mentally to do it. And I definitely feel a lot better today. So I'm, I'm gonna do it. It's a Scrooge ride, so I have to do it. I'm sorry. Please excuse my parents. I know I look so bad but i also just woke up so i also accidentally slept with my hair in a bun so my hair is so weird so i'm just treating it with oil it's just this oil that um one of my clients gave me i worked at the tanning salon treating it just so because it's not good to have your hair in a bun at night um so i'm probably literally gonna put it back in a bun but just thought I would treat it, but yeah, it's been a weird, 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 weird morning. So I'm just gonna get ready for a spin. It's not until nine, but I do have to drive my sister to school, and then that's it for the week. Cause I'm pretty sure she goes on Christmas vacation tomorrow. Hopefully, I think it's tomorrow. It might be Thursday, cause um, Christmas falls weird this year. I think. Oh, I hope she doesn't have school on Christmas Eve, because Christmas Eve technically isn't even a holiday. I'm gonna get ready for the day. Um, I'm not gonna have coffee this morning. I'm gonna wait till after spin. Also, I did end up going shopping for my brother yesterday. Everything's all right here, except my- I don't think my sister even likes what I picked out for her from my brother, so she doesn't like it. I'll freaking take it. Like, I love these boots, so. see me all that well but I just dropped my sister off at school and now I'm in the cycle bar parking lot I feel really good today I really do I know I really shouldn't be taking advantage of it um but I really didn't want to miss this cycle bar class it's a Scrooge ride and I just really wanted to go and I feel really really good today so I'm not lying I swear like yes I still have bruises on my hips but I don't feel as like fatigued and strained as I have been and it, today's like the first day I feel really really good um and if I I know my limits and I know when I need to like settle down and I know when 
I need to not do certain things, but um, I feel good today and I'm, I'm doing this class, so. <sighs> yeah, so I'm gonna head on in. Um, today is the day I think that we find out what the hell is going on with my car and what the heck is gonna happen. So I think that's the day. Um, I'm really nervous just cause one, if like my car's fixable, am I gonna be like okay driving it? Like, am I gonna, is it gonna like bring up some PTSD or um, like even having the car, it's a lot harder to sell when it's fixed. So like futuristically speaking, it's not good, but if it's totaled, it's just an annoyance to get a new car because manufacturers are not making new cars because there's no chips and used cars are very overpriced right now. But either way, we're gonna get money to put down on a new car. So I gotta think about cars that I'm looking at. I'm thinking about Cherokees or the Mazda or a Toyota or just getting a new Regina. That's currently what's happening, but I'm gonna get my spin shoes out of my car. Feels good to be like back to some sort of normalcy, I will say, so. All right, guys, got out of spin a little bit ago and sorry about the lighting, but um, it was a good ride. I was fine, I just couldn't do arms. That's about it. But other than that, like it was a great ride and I feel so good being back, you know? Um, I already know I'm gonna get yelled at so just cuz I should be taking it easy but if I felt good like I felt good you know and nothing hurts more than it did like I feel I literally feel great I feel great right now but um I did just pick up some Starbucks and I think I'm gonna stop by my dealership um to like glance at cars to get an idea as to like what's there cuz I have a feeling we're just gonna go to my same dealership where I got Regina Regina's my car by the way so I'm gonna do that to kind of brighten my spirits a little bit. I um, still haven't heard anything yet, but um, everyone I'm talking to, like um, Katie, the girl, the general manager at Cycle Bar was saying like, if your airbag's ejected, um, it's more than likely totaled and like, yeah. I'm just like, everyone was so like, oh my gosh, are you okay? And like, I hate when people feel sympathy towards me, but I need to realize like there are people out there that care about me and I'm just like so like in awe and all you guys' sweet comments just like make me cry all the time. So I love y'all so much more than you'll ever know. So I'm just gonna go like drive around the dealership to like see what's there and I am parked right now by the way. Sorry about the lighting. So I'll talk to you guys when there's better light. All right, I'm back home. I did drive through the dealership. Um, I was just texting one of my managers she she was just like don't hurt yourself and I was like don't worry like I did that today's like one of the first days I feel really good um I did drive through the dealership and they do have the two cars that I want it's pretty much Regina just either literally the same car or the dark gray I really like the dark gray I'm gonna head on into my house, shower, get ready for work. I'm gonna go a little early just so I can do some shopping for my brother. And yeah, so that's what's up for the day. And yeah, let's go get ready for the day. All right, so I just showered kind of straighten my hair a little bit. I'm just putting on some mascara. Um, yes, I'm fully aware I wore this like a few days ago, but I don't care. It's my new favorite scuba. <clears throat> but yeah, so I'll show you guys my outfit in a minute. But, so I'm working today one to eight. Not my favorite shift in the world, but you know what? I'm really starting to like, be grateful for a lot of things. Like, I'm lucky I even work there, you know? So, I know I'm being a little bit dramatic, but I don't know. Getting in, like, little... Well, my crush wasn't little. It just wasn't the best. Um, you, like, start... You, like, enter this new world of, like, being super aware. If that makes any sense. Like, I'm hyper aware of, like, everything I'm blessed with. This is the best mascara in the whole entire world. This is the Ilia. My mom was saying how she bought it because of me, and I'm like, Mom, 
you're being influenced <laughs> um but yeah i actually really like my outfit today all of my outfits literally come from or my outfit inspirations come from one of my key leaders katie if she's watching hey girl love you um she just always has like the cutest little style and like she was wearing this the other day but like with the mint scuba so i was like oh i won't copy her completely i'll just wear the pink lychee okay people also say that i say it wrong lychee i like the way lychee sounds better who even came up with the name? I want to talk to them because it's either way, it's not that cute of a name. <sighs> but yeah, that's kind of what's up. Okay, so I'm wearing. I wish it was better lighting. My new scuba, the pink lychee, my line joggers, and my UGG boots. And then I'm gonna wear my new Aritzia jacket. And that'll be my outfit for today. But I'm gonna make something really, 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 really quick. Um for breakfast and then I'm gonna leave. Hey you guys, so I just got to uh, the parking garage where I work and I got the call and I know you guys are probably like, damn, what the fuck, like, why are you so giggly right now? Well, not even giggly, just like smiley. So first of all, it's with great sadness that I say Regina is a total loss. The only reason why I look and feel a little bit relieved is because from what I've heard, it's a lot easier of a process through insurance and through everything else. And in the long run, futuristic speaking, it's a lot easier to get a new car than it is to have my car repaired. It costs us a lot more money. And in the long run, if Regina was repaired, she um, trying to sell her a trader in, in the long run, um, it'd be a lot harder to sell her just because no one wants to buy a car that's been fixed and totaled, you know what I mean? or on the verge of being totaled. So it's just a little bit easier. Y'all know how much I freaking loved my car. I love Regina with my whole entire heart and um, there's just gonna be a second Regina. So um, I'm waiting to hear from insurance again so I have to keep my phone on me again at work. We're really not supposed to have our phones on the floor but um, in circumstances like these where like you're literally on call for something as important as this, like I need to have my phone on me. So um, I'm just needed to wait from the insurance company to give me a price on what they're giving me. Um, I then need to decline because my dad's a control freak <laughs> in the best way possible. Um, I just need to decline and be like, I need to negotiate. I'm so sorry, I need to call back number, all that fun stuff. So yeah, so that's what I need to wait for. That's the pros and cons of having everything in your name. Just gotta deal with a lot of shit. Um, I'm so grateful for both my parents for helping me out with everything, obviously. But, um, yeah, I really kind of just want the same car I had, um, maybe just a year up or something like that, or a newer version. Possibly a different color, I don't know. I feel like white cars are, like, my thing. I would definitely want a dark gray even, but I don't know. But I just thought I'd let you guys know. Finally happy to have an update. I'm a little bit more relieved that she's totaled, even though, obviously, I freaking loved her. It's just a lot easier of a process to get a new car and I feel like for me to get back inside Regina would bring up a lot of like PTSD you know from the crash so <sighs> that's my update but I'm gonna head on in I'm I don't know if I want to yeah probably should drop myself off I might drop myself off in the workroom um just because I don't want to carry everything around with me while I do some shopping for my brother so that's what's up shopping for my brother a little bit and yeah, I'm feeling good right now, which is good.